Hello everyone, this is Jim Ogrzynski with lecture video number one. Uh, the purpose uh, for the rest of the semester of breaking up videos is to reduce the time uh, for each video. So I decided in adjusting the schedule to create the weekly screencast, which will be more on the housekeeping issues and what's happening that week. Then the lecture video would be more about the course content. Uh, just to remind everyone, there is a discussion board up and running for the rest of the chapter three notes. As you can see here, we have several students who have published uh, to the discussion board. I do believe the one post is due tonight, end of day. Responses are due on Friday, end of day. But at the end of the week, we do have the double entry journal um, that'll be due, right? So in clicking into the course units, here we have chapter three. I have moved some of the uh, sections around. What we have here is the double entry journal. So just briefly, um, I have an, a, an example that has been uploaded to the assignment. If you want to take a look at the example, I've re-uploaded the PDF, which was uh, previously a problem. This is an example from one of my uh, Moraine Valley students. It's a really good example of the double entry journal. Now, since chapter three is all about writing in the middle and working with your sources, what you've done so far is you've accumulated your eight sources in your annotated bibliography. You've written a summary. You've looked at the qualifications <clears throat> of the authors and the sources, and you've uh, attached, you know, the relevance to that particular source uh, to your research topic. Now the double entry journal is to actually perform that writing in the middle where we will take some of the ideas from your sources and do a little bit of writing and thinking, much like your reading notes. Um, the assignment is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Working with five sources found in your annotated bibliography, I'm asking you to build a double entry journal as described on pages 97 to 103 in The Curious Researcher. I have provided you a template here. If you click on that link, it should take you right to a template in the Google Docs folder. All right, these are standard tables set up in uh, Google Docs. They will move and grow as you type into the template. Be sure to make a copy and rename it and save it and work in it so that others can reuse the template. Heading over to Blackboard again, all right, we have, for each of the five sources, you will need a minimum of three excerpts. Looking for quotes, paraphrase, or summary added to the left column and your corresponding commentary in the right. So this is a left-right journal. All right. uh, the double entry journal section in the researcher gives you a clear understanding of the assignment. It's a quick and easy read. As I say here, I will assess the double entry journal by its completeness accuracy and quality of the commenting about each entry. As always with all the assignments, you'll grab your GDoc link and upload that to the assignment here. Uh, right here is the assignment. All right, click on once again, the right submission, opening up the text box, copy and paste your link here, and then click submit, all right. Also in the course folder, you will find that I have created a double entry journal folder in here again, where you'll find the template. So much like uh, any other document, so everybody shares it. If you were to make a copy, very simply by clicking on file, make a copy, you can rename this document, whatever your last name would be, right double entry template right there and you can begin working on it once you have it saved make sure you upload that to the um, folder and you can um, 
include that in the double entry uh, folder where I will uh, comment on your particular uh, assignment. So as you can see from the double entry, I'm looking for your MLA citation, which is pretty straightforward. You can just copy and paste uh, from your annotated bibliography, um, your MLA citation there, pick your quotes or paraphrases. Um, summaries might be a tad long I would not uh, encourage that but if that's where you want to work with it you can do that um, also um, in looking at that the um, the uh, purpose there is to just give me your thinking I'm looking for a clear uh, idea uh, the distribution of your sources so uh, as you can see here the uh, commentary is rather extensive on many of the quotes that <coughs> This particular student decided to uh, use, as you can see, the topic was uh, Common Core, um, and the format here is pretty straightforward. So once again, I am looking for um, five sources, three excerpts, that's 15 um, entries, quotes, paraphrases, and corresponding commentary. So uh, I will locate a video that I do have in my library for the principles of citation and that'll be coming uh, shortly also if you did not yet submit your annotated bibliography the link is at the bottom of the chapter three um, unit so if you have any questions or issues uh, everyone knows where to find me stay safe and wash your hands <laughs>